All right, Jerry, thanks so much. New at 530 to debate over whether your kids can use cell phones in school. Picked up a couple of notches this week. Governor Mike DeWine raising the issue in his state of the state address and lawmakers introduced a bill. Let's get to 10 TV political reporter Doug Petcash joining us now with the very latest developments on this. And boy, don't tell the kids you want to take away their cell phones in the schools. But what can you tell us? Uh, well, I can tell you this. Several school districts have already banned cell phones, these things, mm -hmm. <laughs> in classes or restricted how much students can use them. Now that debate has risen to the state level. The governor made it a priority in his speech to ask lawmakers to limit cell phone use in schools statewide. These phones are clearly detrimental to learning. They're detrimental to our children's mental health. And they truly do need to be removed from our classrooms in Ohio. Some school districts already agree. During a roundtable Governor DeWine and Lieutenant Governor John Husted hosted in Dublin in March, educators from around the state said banning phones in their schools led to greater student engagement, fewer skipped classes, and less bullying. Some even said their lunchrooms and hallways are loud again. Instead of having their heads down, burying their phones, kids are talking and interacting and laughing and enjoying themselves. A bill introduced Wednesday in the House would prohibit students from using cell phones or other personal devices in class, except for in an emergency, to manage the student's health or if the teacher allows it for educational purposes. Republican State Senator Rob McCauley says it's a conversation worth having on the state level. Uh, the results are kind of troubling. The results are very concerning. Uh, the mental health impact and the addictive uh, nature of smartphones that it has on many kids through the most developmental uh, years of their lives. House Minority Leader Allison Russo says as a parent, she has concerns about cell phones, but is hesitant to take a one size fits all approach. I also believe very strongly that this is where our schools, our school boards are best equipped to navigate policies that reflect both what parents want in those communities and what the needs are of students and school buildings. Yeah, so Angela and Andrew, the House bill was just introduced, mm -hmm. so it still needs to go through that whole hearing process. So very early stages right now, but definitely one we'll be following. I love the part where you heard the governor say, kids actually say, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. lunch rooms are louder and, and yeah. kids are actually engaging. And, and I was at that round table and so many of the principals and superintendents mm -hmm. said the same thing. Well, Great to hear the noise okay. again. Could be a change. Yeah. Doug, thanks. You can